Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about living off of my stockpile. This is a video that I wanted to film for so long, but I just, I don't know, for some reason I just put it off. So I just want to share with you my stockpile. I did a video on my stockpile back in February of 2017. I'll link that below for you guys. Um, a lot of people love that video. So that way you guys can like see the difference. And yeah, since I did do that video in February 2017, yes, I did coupon even after that video and whatnot. But majority of 2017, I didn't coupon at all. I really honestly just quit couponing. And I really would like to say that I'm, like, back, back. I don't know um, how it's going to go. I know next week the deals don't seem so hot, but the week of, I believe it's the 21st, we're going, we're going, to go, we're going back to that spend 50, get back 20. So I already have plans, I already do that, I already have matchups going up. I will have a blog post for that so you can see all the math breakdown. Um, so definitely look forward to that, but this next week coming up, it just doesn't seem so hot. So I'm probably going to skip it unless something I, you know, see pop up or whatever. But anyway, this video is going to be all about living off of my stockpile. Just going to share with you my stockpile. So it's going to be kind of a stockpile slash living off of it and how it went and my thoughts. So overall with living off of my stockpile for 2017, Things lasted a really long time. I even had toothpaste expire because, let's just be real, I really wasn't down in my stockpile room. I wasn't hanging out in here. I was really ever making trips down here unless I needed something. I would grab it, go back upstairs, and I had toothpaste expire, and I, I felt awful about it because I could have just donated that or given it away or whatnot. I also became very strict on what I gave to people. I barely gave anyone anything in 2017, and for once, my husband was telling me not to give stuff away. Before, when I would bring home tons of Tide and toilet paper and paper towels, he would be like, give it away, give it away, give it away. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And even when we lived in our apartment, and yes, you know, it's not like I had a ton of room. It's not like now where I have a whole room dedicated to my coupon stuff. But, you know, he would always want me to give stuff away because we didn't have room for it and whatnot. And now it's like completely reversed. It's like he doesn't want me to get rid of stuff. And I have told him... Like, this is why I went ham when I could. You know, when I wasn't working at the time when I started couponing um, for a few years, you know, I went ham. I really went ham because I knew that one day I would not be able to have the time or maybe even want to spend the time to coupon. And that's why I really focused on building my stockpile, saving as much money as I could. So that way, when the time did come... I could quit couponing for a while, you know, and then obviously take it back up when we need it thing. So, um, cleaner wise, I'm pretty good. Got some more this week. I didn't even bring them downstairs yet, but cleaner wise, I'm pretty good. You know, I have a few holes or whatever. I can definitely fit the new stuff up there, but, um, the most cleaner that I go through, uh, I don't even... I have some, well, I have some cleaner upstairs that I have open. My unopened things are down here, but definitely toilet bowl cleaner. I have three bathrooms, three toilets, and I go through that stuff so fast. So anytime there's a decent deal on the Lysol toilet cleaner, I'm down. The all-purpose cleaner is great for your counters and all that. So constantly always going through those items. So I'm happy that I've always kept a really good stockpile of cleaners. Lysol is definitely a brand that always goes on sale at Rite Aid. And I will tell you this, most of my stockpile is all from Rite Aid. Um, I used to go ham at CVS back in the day. I haven't been to CVS, I think, in two or three years now. Um, yeah, I think since 2013, last time I was really at CVS. But, um... Yeah, I would, I would definitely say 2013. And that year was an amazing year at CVS. I did amazingly, if that's even a word. But um, yeah, all my stuff is mainly from CVS. Um, up here, I have body washes. As you can tell, I have like little holes. I did get some Caress body wash at Target. There was a deal with Axe and getting back a gift card and it was part of the deal. But I think those Caress body washes I took up. Oh, here they are. These are it. So I got those. So those are like newly new. So I can actually kind of maybe move these up here. Um, but yeah, so I do have like, you know, some holes here and there. Um, here I have all like hair care and stuff. I don't really go through that much hair care. I probably could get rid of some of that stuff there. Down here, George has a few little holes, but nothing, you know, insane. And of course, these are all caress. 
Um, lotions I don't really go through, which is really bad. Shampoo-wise, um, yeah, again, I mean, I feel like I haven't couponed, I would say I haven't couponed seriously in 2017 at all. And, you know, I feel like I've been doing pretty good. I even gave away, um, a, like, a huge box of stuff for Christmas to a family. Um, every year my husband's job, like, hosts a family. So I even gave a ton of stuff to them. So I was able to do that. Hand soap-wise, I'm great. If you look at my stockpile video, I had a ton of hand soaps on the floor. Obviously, I have diminished that. Same thing with, um, shampoo. Um, I'm not sure why. It was palm olives, I guess, because they don't fit. Um, Lysol wipes, I still have a ton. It's something I use all the time. I probably will never run out of Lysol wipes. Sprays, again, like, even, I, I don't know. I think, I'm, we're a two-person household, and I feel like, you know, when you start couponing, you feel like you use more than what you actually do. I mean, I could spend a few more years living off of this stuff. It's insane. Um, so more Febreze. And what I really would love to do is, you know, that I'm getting back into couponing. I really would like to cycle out a lot of my things, you know. So if I get more sprays, get rid of the old ones and put the new ones. And I really will, I really need to rotate my stuff because usually that's what I would do as a couponer. I would rotate. So if I brought home, you know, 20 things of shampoo, I would take all of that out and put the new stuff in. But since I don't coupon anymore, a lot of the stuff, you know, it's aging. Um, a lot of this medicine I need to throw out. I just took all this stuff out because it's all, like, expired. Um, yeah. But I really have to say, I mean, I still have a crap ton of razors, a ton of, um, face wash. I never have to buy skincare ever again because I work for a long comb. So I have all this skincare in here, which most of the stuff I need to get rid of. Um, got a lot of eco tools, still a ton of makeup. Um, light bulbs I have a ton of. In here is Thermacare and, um, baby wipes, which I wanted to do the deal when these were 50 cents right after Christmas, um, but I totally, totally forgot about it. I had every intention of going the right and at least doing the baby wipe deal, but, you know, this is not a full, full, full stockpile video. I'll do that probably in the next couple months, but... I really just want to share with you, you know, where my holes are, what things I ran out of. Now, my toilet paper is upstairs. I literally had three Scott um, toilet paper packs left until I bought all that Cottonelle this week. So, thank God. Paper tail-wise, I'm fine. But in two weeks, starting when the bonus cash comes back for the spend 50, get back 20, there's going to be Scott's part of the deal. So I'm going to be getting more toilet paper and paper towels then. So um, Scott and, Scott's are my absolute favorite. I think most couponers, but um, I got in the cotton out because I didn't realize Scott's were going to be on sale or else I might have waited, but I'm happy I stocked up. Tissues, I feel like, have gone down tremendously. I've been getting sick a lot this year, like colds and everything. I'm not sure what's going on. So I've used so many boxes of tissues this year. Um, the first time I got sick, I literally think I used up like eight boxes of tissues. But I use two tissues at a time because one does not do it. I know it might be TMI, but so that I go through them, you know, uh, times two than a normal person. But yeah, and um, every year Ready It always has them for free during Black Friday, so that's always great. But um, yeah, so I'm hoping not to get sick, so that way I'm not going through them. Tide, um, definitely been going downhill, I feel like for sure. I'm trying to be like very good about measuring my tide because I got out of that for a while. I feel like when I started couponing, I would like literally measure to the T on the cup. And I would even tally how many loads I got out of that bottle just to make sure I wasn't using too much. And now I'm kind of like a little more, a little bit more lenient about it, but I need to get back into that. I feel like especially couponers, we have an abundance amount of stuff, but we get every little last drop. And I think that's really important. You know, you don't want to waste anything. And then Swiffers, I don't even think I went down at all in that maybe bottle. Um, I don't, you like to use my Swiffer. I kind of use like a, like a regular mop type of thing. Um, Swiffer is kind of like a quick people are coming over overall fast and easy clean, but it doesn't really deep clean. So I'm not a big fan of the Swiffer wet jet anymore. So, 
But yeah, um, living off of my stockpile has been truly amazing, um, good experience, um, but I'm dying to get back in there, you know, and go to Ham at Rite Aid and get back into couponing. I've missed it so much. Um, I miss posting on YouTube and posting on Instagram because I don't do that anymore. I'm barely ever on Instagram. So um, I need to get back into it and it's getting me excited. And of course, having George come with me kind of gives me more confidence <laughs> to fight off those crazy cashier ladies. Um, not all of them are crazy, obviously. But yeah, so this is my living off of my stockpile video. But um, I have to say, I think it was definitely an experience. It definitely made me realize that I don't go through as much as I thought that I go through. I mean, as being a coupon, I'm like, I have to keep it. I use it. I use it. Well, yeah, obviously you use it, but you're, you're not plowing through it, you know? So um, as much body wash as I use, I clearly still have a ton left, you know? Um, but that's definitely one thing I got more picky on what I gave away to people. People would ask me for things and I'm like yeah, I'm, I'll give it to you one day. <laughs> and it just never happened. But um, definitely things I want to work on building back up again. I mean, I would love to get some shampoo. I'm so bored of the shampoos that I have. I've used them. I need to get rid of all those Nexus shampoos. I think I've had them for a billion years. And for whatever reason, I hold on to them and not use them. So I just need to get rid of them and donate them. Um, I really want to get some more dish soap because I feel like even though I have those bigger bottles and then I love stocking up on hand soap. It's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I love, love, love hand soap. I don't know why. Um, definitely would like to get some more Tide. Uh, again, I'm, we'll be getting some more toilet paper and paper towels in a couple weeks. Um, tissue wise, I'm really not that worried about because I still have a ton left and it's not something that I go through unless I'm sick. So, but if it's a really, really, you know, really amazing deal, then I'll definitely, you know, stock up on it. Um, I would like to get some more sprays maybe because I like to just get rid of those and get some new ones. I'm um, trying to think of some other things I might need. Some medicine. I could use some medicine, which I'll be buying Advil uh, when I finish off my deals for this week. And, um, yeah, I think that might be it. I think that might be it. So, I mean, I haven't really run out of things, as you can tell. Um, definitely the, um, oh, and I need bounce. Bounce dryer sheets. So if you know of any good deals anywhere, even if it's at Target or Walmart, what have you, please, please, please let me know. I really am running low. I only have maybe like four or five boxes left. I know I sound nuts, but that's all I use for dryer sheets. So I clearly don't want to run out. Um... And so that I really need. And like I said before, I really was going low on toilet. Toilet paper was the one thing that I was going very, very low on. Tide, I probably still have like a five-year supply left. I mean, let's just be honest. But Tide is something I do not want to get low on. And I do like giving things away. So I really would like to build up again so I can give away again. Because I feel like people expect it now from me. <laughs> um, you know, and I feel like I've been so stingy. And I would like it when my mom comes. I can give her toilet paper and paper towels to take home with her and Tide and stuff. You know, I, I like to do those things for people and I felt really awful in 2017 because I was just being so stingy. But as you can tell, I probably could have been less stingy, but obviously that didn't happen. So this is me living off of my stockpile. I'm so happy to be back at Couponing at Rite Aid. Um, so next week you might not see a matchups video from me because there's really nothing going on, at least from what I could see. But definitely, I believe it's the 21st. Um, you will definitely see a matchups video and, um, I might even post my blog post early, but the video probably won't go up until, you know, the week before, just so that way it's not, you know, up too fast for you guys. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please let me know if you lived off of your stockpile for, you know, six months or longer, but it was definitely an experience and I will definitely say being a couponer is the best thing ever because the fact that I could live off of my stockpile, not have to spend any money. And yeah, I can't think of anything that I ran out of that I had to go spend money on. I think batteries, but you know, batteries go bad. You To me, I don't want to stock up on batteries. That's I'd rather just spend the money, you know? Um, unless it's a really good deal, but it's not something that I buy all the time to have in my stockpile. Um, and then I'm trying to think of anything else and probably medicine too. Um, there's some medicines that I had to buy cause I didn't have any, oh, Advil. I had to like pay for Advil like twice out of pocket and I was like, no, 
So I was happy that's on sale this week towards the bonus cash. So I'm definitely going to be stocking up on that because it's a really, really good deal compared to what I was paying for it. And um, yeah, so not too many things I had to pay out of pocket for. Bye, guys.